Hey everyone, in this video let's see how we can extract unique values from our data by creating a custom function in VBA. So I have already created a custom function so let me show you what it will do. So if I start writing my custom function which is unique values and if I use it over this range what it will do is it will simply extract the unique values. So let's say we have 2007 repeating thrice and I only want 2007 to be extracted only once then I want 2009 once and then similarly all the duplicates should be removed and I want only the unique values. So let's close that and if I press enter you can see that I am reporting 2007 only once, 9, 10, 8, 6, 5 all are rep reported only once and I can use the transpo transpose function over that so that I can only get all the array in a single column only. So let's get started and I will show you how we can create that custom function in the VBA. The first thing that we need to do is simply go to the developer tab then click on the visual basic and on the project pane just right click and insert the module and then just go to the tools option and then click on references and we need to set a reference to the microsoft scripting runtime library so let's press m and when it will appear we will select that and there you go i can press spacebar so that i can check that or i can simply click that as well the checkbox and let's click on OK. And now we are going to create the code for our custom function or the user defined function. So let's write function unique values and it will take a parameter which will be data range as range. And the data type returned by this function will be of an array type. So I'm going to use variant because I cannot use the string or long because there is a possibility that this function is actually used on a string data type then in case if i am returning the data type as long or integer then it will throw an error therefore to prevent any error i am using the variant data type and let's click enter and it will end it will insert the end function statement now let's create several variables so i'm going to write dim cell as range this variable will be used for iterating over the data range parameter or the variable and then i'm going to create another variable which will be data dict as scripting dot dictionary and then a simple array so i can name it as arr as variant in the data dictionary we are going to initially hold the unique values and after that once it is time to load the data into excel we will be using the arr variant uh, ARR, arr variable so that we can load data through it into the excel file and what we can do is simply create a new instance of the data dictionary variable so let's write set data dict is equal to new scripting dot dictionary and then we can start at for each loop so i can write for each cell in data range let's write next cell and i'm simply going to check that so first of all let's write data dict dot add cell dot value and then cell dot value once again so in a dictionary we can store a key value pair so the first argument is going to use the cells value as a index or a kind of a key and the second option will actually hold the object itself or the value of value of the object so let's say we are iterating over this range when we start from 2007 the dictionary will actually add the key as 2007 and then it will also store the value as 2007 we also have an option of storing the key as a different value but in this case i am using both the value and key as the same value so what dictionary actually does is it only stores unique values based on the key that we provide so in a dictionary a key cannot be duplicate number therefore we will be able to create a code that allows us to only store unique values and let's say we have added 2007 in this dictionary when the code moves on and goes to the second row the data dictionary will not be able to actually add the 2007 into the dictionary because our dictionary cannot contain a duplicate item so let's try to use that so i can write unique values first of all let's make sure that we are returning the value of the dictionary in the array so i can select this maybe let's name it as data array so that it is more meaningful data array 
and I can set that to be equal to data dict dot keys and then I will return unique values should be equal to data array data array and if I go back to Excel and write unique values and select that range you can see that I get an error because the dictionary cannot hold a duplicate value so in order to make this code work what we can do is simply do an if statement where I will check that if the the key already exists in the dictionary then do not add that if in case it does not already exist then add that value in that dictionary so I can write if not data dict dot exists and I'm going to write cell dot value then I can close the end of statement so let's remove the not part for a second so here I'm saying in simple English that if the dictionary contains the cell dot value then do this part but I do not want to do this this part if in case the value already exists in the dictionary so in that therefore I'm using the not function to turn the result of this into a false so let's say in case if it, were, it already exists this will return a true so not by using the not function I am turning that true into false and now what I can do is simply assign the value of the data dictionary to the data array so I'm going to write data dict dot keys so what it what this line will simply do is it will load all the keys that we have stored in the dictionary into the array in one single step so we will not have to write a different loop to load the data into array and this is much more efficient as well and and uh, as a last step what we can do is simply use the unix unique value and i can assign it to the data array and if i go back to excel and if i press f2 and press enter you can see that we have received all the unique values that are there in that data set and i can now use the transpose function to transpose this range and I have received all the values in a single column only so that was how you can use a dictionary in VBA to store only the unique values and by following that logic we are able to extract the unique values from our data and this is useful for people who are not using the office 365 version of Excel but in case if you already have the dynamic array version you can simply use the unique function that is inbuilt inside Excel so if I select this range and press enter you can see that both are reporting the exact same number and exact same count as well so that's how you can do that in Excel with a custom function or the user defined function and as well as by using the dynamic arrays so I will see you in the next video and if you have any questions for me just let me know in the comment section and I will see you in the next video until then have a great day